There are a lot of people who say they're inspired by their surroundings. And that's why a local artist is helping students do just that. It's all happening at the Barack and Michelle Obama School in St. Paul. Finally tonight, the children's section of the Savage Public Library has a whole new look thanks to a local artist. Library attendees will get to check out the work of Greg Preslica. Greg painted a mural on two walls. And how painting his kid's bedroom, look at this, turned into a side business. Meet this guy who makes amazing wall murals in schools and community centers all over the cities. Wow. I, I roughly sketch out everything um, to see how it will placement and everything and then start putting in the broad, the broad colors uh, and refining things as I'm going and kind of looking to how the colors work throughout. But for this room, I'm mostly working with these four different pieces for the big areas and then these for all the He takes a boring plain wall and completely recreates it into unique masterpieces. We'll meet the guy behind it next. It's something many parents do. They take on the challenge of painting their kids' room. They've been bugging me for years to paint their room, so I finally got time uh, one summer. But for Greg, he did more than just paint the rooms. He created a sort of oasis through murals, and then it turned it into something more. My wife Heidi said, maybe we could do this as a side thing. And uh, so we started out doing residential stuff. Uh, and then got connected with doing a YMCA, a really large project. Uh, I hadn't done anything that large. It was kind of scary, but that kind of started it. I used this, and I have, the, I have the grid lines on here. So I, if you were to come here yesterday when I started, I had tape marks at all these corners. I love that you started this. You started that yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Get Monday. out. Yeah. Just yesterday, this yeah. was what? <laughs> wow. The images make a lasting impression. But it's just amazing for the kids to be able to come in and actually see the process and then eventually be able to see the final product and know it's their own space, it's their space. Greg Prislicka is painting a mural with a science theme as part of a makeover. He wants the kids to have a feeling of curiosity and wonder when they're in the classroom. The kids are, uh, they're getting to paint a little portion of their own, so we came up with an overall concept together, but now the kids get to put their own little mark on it. It's been a, a very successful project thus far, um, gaining a lot of interest. One of the best things about the project was he's been able to see the groups of students when they come to paint their particular star on the wall that he's been able to see them hands-on working together and supporting each other and encouraging someone to do something that's a little bit out of their comfort zone. With just, with just a paintbrush and black paint, and you can see here, uh, I just brought out on, right onto the wall. Uh, I went to College of Visual Arts is where I graduated from. Uh, I also, there's two four-year art schools in, in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, and I went to MCAD for two years and then I When I start, when I paint, I, I pick certain colors that I'm going to use throughout the whole thing and I mix, so I have certain colors that I'll use as main colors for my greens and, and yellows and I have a great job because I get to do two things that when I was a kid, when I was your age, I used to get in trouble for. <laughs> Anybody have a guess? Yeah. Paint on the wall is one of them, <laughs> and the other one, maybe so, maybe a picture on the wall, a big picture on the wall, it kind of looked like it came out of maybe one of these books, I went with that one, but then I take it and I, I do a drawing, so this is the drawing, and uh, the purple is a little bit warmer than a blue, and I wanted this whole mural to be real warm. And and a dedication ceremony for a mural at Austin's I.J. Holton Intermediate School. The Be a Beacon mural includes different images promoting inclusion, tolerance, and kindness. It took artist Greg Preslichka 
around two weeks to paint this with help from students. And it was that help from picking the final design to putting their own artistic style onto the wall that made this project so special. Doing murals is a, is a public art form, so the fact that people can see it happen is kind of a special thing about it. Most art people go see in a gallery is just there, and they don't really see the process. So. That many of the students who worked on this wall are part of the Peer Powers Partners Program, which is pairing students with special needs to their peers to promote friendships and understanding. Take the ideas and the kind of the feelings I got from you 
and put them into the three layouts. They're doing design, graphic design, and illustration, doing the hex design for different companies. I've done stuff for Hormel and Henry. Working on a mural here at IJ Holton uh, Intermediate School. Um, I've kind of work, been working with the kids for uh, a couple of weeks. Oh, you guys just get I like, I'm going to point them on. I like kids. Oh, you guys are all done. And repaint the edge of that so it's real nice and crisp so yours fits in there. And I want to make sure that yours are, oh, you won't be that hard. There you go. Yeah. That high. There you go. No, no. That's oh. all on there? Yeah, come on. Come on. Do green. Mine didn't work. Green? So, like right here? Yeah. Mine was weird. How's that? Like we only have 15 minutes. You don't see it? Oh, but you filled it in. Yeah. That's where you miss it. So they're going to drop the paint. I use many different brushes. And so which brush do you think I probably use more? This one or this one? attention and they like to pick out the characters there and we actually built a scavenger hunt and laminated it and the kids are able to go around and find the dog or find specific things within each mural. They just want to yeah go track them down how they're walking or riding the trike or whatever they may be doing but it's pretty fun. <laughs> dogs are popular everywhere you go. <laughs> we actually have therapy dogs so they're able to see a live dog and then connect it to the pictures as well. So, nice. Uh, it's amazing. And I think so, every once in a while one of the kiddos is from one of the cities depicted and they're like, oh my gosh, that's my town. So it's really fun. <laughs>